Hi, my name is Tel Koendrink and I'm the founder and master trainer of Novelo, where we help schools, teachers and parents create a place for gifted and talented children. And what I want to talk to you about today is the biggest myth in gifted and talented education. Because what I see time and time again is the assumption that the only thing that could go wrong when you're teaching a talented kid or a gifted kid is that you're not providing him or her with enough challenge. And the solution to every problem, whether it's behavioral, whether it's you know, discussion or learning disabilities, whatever, throw more challenge at him and everything will be fine. And this is a message that parents say to schools and this is a message that schools say to the kids. But you know, it's so amazing, it doesn't always work. What I've seen in my practice in you know, exclusive gifted schools and stuff like that is that about one third of the group, you know, they're happy. You, know, you throw knowledge at them and they're happy and they're going. But one third of them kind of get stuck. But once you give them studying tools and skills and you help them along, then they're fine. But a third group isn't served by this at all. Just throwing more challenge at them makes them even more insecure and gets them more stuck. And this is not what we want. We want to help them forward. And what I believe is the most important thing to give to gifted and challenged kids is skills and attitude. Help them develop the proper skills, the skills that help them channel their talent into actual performance. It takes skill to do that. In you know, athletes, in musicians, we know this, we know this to be true. A talent alone won't get you in Carnegie Hall. It takes a lot of practice. It takes developing the skill to go with your talent. And to be able to go through all that practice, you need the right attitude. And this is actually not just true for the kids, but for the teachers as well. Because what I see happen once in a while with teachers is that their assumption is, you know, this kid has talent, so if it doesn't come out, there could be only one reason, you know, he's lazy. And that takes a skill change and an attitude change as well. Because it takes very specific skills for a teacher to help a gifted kid forward. He needs to change his approach to education, not by just dumping more challenging material on a kid. Because I've seen, you know, really schools that you know, spend a lot of money on gifted and talent education buy material after material. We've got like this big bookcase full of books and stuff like that that the kids can work in. But the kids are still exactly the same. They're still sitting back and saying, ah, oh, this is boring and they've got a tough time getting ahead. And I've seen teachers who've got no materials whatsoever. They come into the classroom, you know, with that day's newspaper. But through the interaction, through the challenging and reflecting towards the kids. They help these kids forward in a huge way. So that's what I want to challenge you to do. Think in that way, not more materials, different materials. Not more challenge, but different challenge aimed at improving the skills and attitudes of these students. Well, you probably see this, this movie is part of a series. Do check out the other movies where I give you some hints on how to do that, how to move this forward. Thank you so much for watching. This was it for this time. And as I will always close, bring out the best in yourself and in each other.